Well, hey guys, good morning. Big A, you know where I'm at. I'm on the station camp Greenway. Hey, listen, don't waste your failures. Let me tell you what I'm talking about when I say that. Years ago, uh, I was in a situation to where, uh, and many of you guys know this story, I was in an automobile accident August 1st, 2001, where I ran over and killed a pedestrian. One of the most difficult tragedies that I've ever experienced in my entire life, without a question, hands down, one of the biggest situations in my life that could have paralyzed me forever. And I chose to uh, work through that and get over it and move on. Well, that was a failure. I mean, that was huge. I mean, that was a devastating time in my personal life. And I've used that to help people overcome many things that they've experienced in their life. Years and years and years ago, a friend of mine named Jeff Lovingood was in a conversation with three of us, a guy named Lance and then Jeff. And uh, Lance's father had been just diagnosed with a very dreaded disease. And Jeff was on the telephone and he was telling uh, Rachel, his wife, about what he was uh, diagnosed with. And he said, yeah, it's bad. It's really bad. He said, he's got a uh, hot potato C. And we turned around and we looked at it and we started laughing. We said, what? He goes, you know, that disease, a uh, hot potato C. And we started laughing at him. And he goes, what are y'all saying? We said, it's hepatitis C is what he's been diagnosed with. Well, Jeff started laughing and I started laughing. And the next day we went to Chicago. We had a conference in Chicago and we went there and I was rooming with Jeff and we were sitting uh, across from each other in this sweet area that we had and uh, I started teasing him about it and he started laughing and he said, Oh, Big A, listen, you got to learn to laugh at yourself. And it, it made me think for a minute. I sat there, you know, and I quit teasing him and I started, I said, what do you mean? He goes, you don't know how to laugh at yourself. And I'm very, very serious minded and I have been my whole life. And I started thinking through that and I said, what a tragedy that it is that we can't laugh at ourselves. He goes, the faster you learn to laugh at yourself because we're going to make mistakes in life, the better off you're going to be. And he kind of turned the tables on me and I've appreciated that for years and years and years as a result of understanding the reason that I need to laugh at myself. Listen, guys, it's the same in business. You're going to have failures. You're going to have things that are not going to work out exactly like you had hoped. But it doesn't identify your entire life. It doesn't say that you're a failure. It was a point in time where something didn't work out right for you. And you need to just slough it off. You need to go, you know what? That didn't work, and I'm going to learn from it, and I'm going to pivot, and I'm going to turn. But here's what it's done to many guys. And I coach these guys on an ongoing basis. I see them in our community. I see it in our mastermind groups. They don't know how to laugh at themselves, kind of hypothetically speaking. They're like, hey, no, I did this once and it didn't work out and now I can't go forward. Guys, we got to get over that. <laughs> we can't let that identify our lives. We're missing so many valuable opportunities today because you're letting a failure identify who you are. And I want to encourage you today that it's not your whole life. It's not something that you've got to say that I'm a failure, I'm a loser, I'll never be able to succeed again. Jay Samet wrote a great book called Disrupt You, and we're reading it right now in the mastermind groups. And Jay tells story after story after story where he did things that didn't work out. He thought it was going to be a home run with multi, multi-billion dollar companies. And he got up and he pushed forward and he Push forward again and again and again. And finally, two or three things that he did was hugely successful. He's been very, very successful as a result of it. What about you? Have you let that one thing, that one failure hold you down? Listen, I'm talking to one person right now. I know I am. I know I'm talking to somebody right now that's sitting on the sidelines and you won't go forward. You won't try that new business deal because you've had a failure in your finances or you've had a relationship breakdown and you're scared to go into a relationship with anybody anymore because you're letting that one thing identify you. And I want to encourage you today, November the 6th, here we are Monday. I can't believe it's at the end of the year. I want you to say, I'm going to stop doing that. Big A's right. I have let myself be identified by this failure in my life. And today I'm going to put a stake in the ground. And I'm going to say, I'm not going to let that identify me. I'm going to learn to laugh at myself like my friend 
Jeff Lovingood says, listen, guys, we're taking things too serious. We're letting life go by us, and we're not enjoying the fullness that God has created us to live in because we're afraid. Our pride and our ego has gotten in the way because we might not succeed again, and so we're going to play average. We're going to play middle of the road. We're going to sit here and let life go by. This is not a practice run. This is it. This is your life. This is the only one you're going to get to go through earthly speaking, and we do not want to miss the opportunities that we have out there because we're identifying ourselves with a past experience. Well, I want to encourage you today, don't do that. Stop. Today's the day. Learn to laugh at yourself and don't waste your failure. Learn from it, pivot, turn, get off the couch, go out there and go for it because there is a lot of life left to live, and I don't want you to let these failures identify who you are. I'm Big A. Coming to you live from the Station Camp Greenway. Have a great day. We'll see you.